What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy, where we have over 500 videos to help you learn. We've done hundreds of reviews, and if you guys want to subscribe because you're into that type of thing, man, please do me a favor, subscribe, smash that like button, because this video was a ton of work. And all the links to everything you see will be down below. You guys will be getting some discounts on practically everything. Well, yeah, everything on this list, except for some of the consumer grade stuff, which uh, I might as well mention that now. Every single time I post a shaver video, you guys always ask me, why don't you review the Panasonic Arc 6 or Arc whatever? Um, so you guys are going to be happy that I actually have the most expensive shaver I could find at 339 This is the Panasonic Arc 6, and it is going to make an appearance in this video. And you guys were right. Yo, this thing is definitely in a league of its own in some ways. I also want to recognize Fort Worth Barber Supply. They sent me everything else on this list to make it possible for me to do both the best shavers, the best trimmers, and the best clippers of 2023 Roundup. And we're working on all of those videos and they will all be released shortly. Let's get started with a tool that needs no introduction, the Bronze Series 9. And you're going to notice there's, there's like a bunch of different trim options. Um, there's little numbers at the end of all the Bronze Series 9s that make them all a little bit different. I purchased the most expensive one that I could find. This is the Series 9 Pro 949S as tested. OK, and if you guys are wondering how we graded these, I'm going to throw this little graphic up right here. And if you guys want to contribute to how we do this grading, uh, drop it in the comments below. Give me some ideas. And I'm always looking to innovate how we do reviews. So the price coming in at two ninety nine, that brings it to one star. The battery life at 60 minutes, that's one star. The comfort is second to none. Uh, comfort for the Bronze Series 9 and the Panasonic Arc 6. They're, they're in a league of their own. Five. Closeness, it does not get as close as some of the other shavers on this list. And for that reason, I'm giving it only three stars. Speed, it's really, really a fast shaver. I'm going to give that five stars. That brings it in at a total of 15 points. Now, for the pros, although technically this is not a professional grade machine. This is meant for somebody who's shaving themselves at home. And for that reason, it is absolutely perfect, but it's creeped its way into barbershops. It's known in barbershops and people have been using this for a long time. And I can say these things are battle tested. I've had one last me seven years where I'm doing 10 to 20 cuts a day for seven years straight. And this thing still works. I've even had the buttons breaking off and everything like that. We submerged them completely in water and they survive. So this is probably the best built electric shaver I've ever seen. And I would really love to see Braun actually make a go at the barber industry. And if they set their sights on that barber industry, they would probably take over. So let's get to the cons. All right. Obviously the price at $300, that's probably going to put this out of reach for some. It doesn't get quite as close as some of the other ones. And the battery life at 60 minutes, it's on the lower end. However, I can say most of the time I can use this machine all day without having to plug it in. And if they made a real entrance into the barbershop, I bet you they would probably up that battery life. And I would also love to see some different charging options. It's pretty cool that this one comes with a stand. I like that. So if you're working with a stand, it's never really going to go dead. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And if you guys want to check that out, I listed an Amazon link for this one down below. And let's move on to the next one on the list. This is the most expensive one on the list, the most expensive shaver I have ever reviewed. It is $339, which brings that in at one star. Battery life is the lowest on the list at 50 minutes, and that's one star. Comfort, this has to be the most comfortable thing I've ever used and put it on somebody's head for bald shaves, for shaving the top of the face. Uh, this thing is awesome, five stars. Closeness, actually, I'm going to give that four stars. It's closer than the Bronze Series 9. Speed, I'm going to give that five stars. It is definitely one of the fastest, and I think that's because of the size of its head. That brings it in at a total of 16 points. All right, the pros. This, this machine has a very interesting foil head. It's huge, but it actually works as advertised. It has a couple different strips that could pick up longer hair, and I actually was able to mow down hair that was about a one and a half in length uh, without any discomfort to the client, and it actually does work the way it's advertised. It's also waterproof, which is also pretty cool. The Uno shaver helps me do a few things from getting in those hard to reach spots to actually detailing my fade and getting out that, that really harsh skin line. It's just so easy to see. It's not really part of this video. It's not going to be part of the rating. I just want to say that you could be using the right tool uh, at the right time for the right job, and it's going to make your life easier. On the con side of things, this head is much larger than anything I've ever used, and you can't really see the hair being cut. So for people who are fading other people, uh, that might be a problem. It would definitely take some more getting used to. 
And obviously the price point is pushing this thing out of reach a little bit. It does not have a charger stand and there is no other charging options other than plugging it in. And I can say that the 50 minute runtime for use in the barbershop is definitely a little bit low. You're going to notice that after one or two haircuts, it actually has a battery life indicator here. Uh, it gives you a percentage. So I got a better idea of how battery life really is with this. And it's not very good. It goes pretty quickly. One of the really cool things that comes out of buying a Braun Series 9 or the Arc 6 is you get these like hard cases. These are so great for travel. I wish every barber tool came with a small, low profile case like this. Like, I mean, I just feel like it's so sensible. You guys are probably going to be wondering about the comparison between the Braun Series 9 and the Arc 6 if you guys are shopping in this category. I will just say that the two, the two heads are completely different. Uh, the Arc 6 is so much larger. Essentially, they feel very similar when you're cutting. However, I would say if I was deciding between these two, I would probably go on performance. I would I would go for the Arc 6. I actually thought that was better uh, than the 9. But if you're fading on somebody else and you want to be able to see it, I think the Braun Series 9 is awesome. They both have lockable heads and they both have these little pop-up useless trimmers that I would never actually use. Uh, however, it might be okay for snagging a few hairs, but they definitely pull. One thing I could say is neither one of these work great underneath the chin if the hair is very long. So... That's kind of a negative. I wish that it was better than that. Um, and they're both waterproof. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Let's move on to the next one on the list. The first professional machine we're going to review today is actually going to be the Wall Vanish Shaver. So Wall's been absent for some time in the shaver world and they're back. So this comes in at an Amazon price of $129, but at Fort Worth Barber Supply, it's $105. That's three stars. Battery life, 100 minutes, that's three stars. Comfort, we're going to say this is a pretty comfortable electric shaver, and I'm giving it five stars. Closeness, five stars. Speed, four stars. And the total is 20 points. The pros, it's great to see Wall make a splash with this new shaver. They haven't released a shaver since roughly 2016, so that's like seven years. And what did we get out of this? I, I like it, man. The battery life indicator, the feel of it, the bumps on the back, uh, everything you could ask for in a shaver is is here without a few things so the cons i would say the button placement um because it's not on the side of the box anymore you actually wind up using your other finger to turn it on uh, not a big deal but it is something that i that i kind of noticed so getting used to that and after a wait this long i really thought that they would imp improve the battery life i mean the wall finale had 90 minutes of runtime and seven years later roughly they released this and it only has 10 minutes more at 100 so you know, it, and also the, the one of the bigger cons that I've really noticed while working with it is the motor moves super slow. So I found that I had to kind of move a little slower than I was used to with some of the other ones on the list. So, but I can say it did cut thoroughly, even though I was moving slow. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things that I noticed that I would have to work with more. The next one on the list is the Andis Research, and the Andis Research comes in at $160. That gives it three stars. Battery life, for a professional product, this battery life is really low, coming in at two stars. Comfort, I'm giving it two stars. It is the least comfortable out of any of them on the list. Closeness, five stars. Speed, three stars. Um, one of the things I'm going to say is you guys are probably wondering, how did I determine comfort? I was asking clients with their head facing away from me, which one do you like more, this one, this one? And all of them, all of them said that that one was a little more harsh. And I did notice that it left my client's skin red quite a bit, but that brings it in at a total of 15 points. Despite the low score on this, there are some things I do like about it. I like its small compact size. I like the foil head. I like the fact that it has that strip in the middle, even though we're going to talk about that in the con section and the USB-C charging, uh, battery life indicator, the magnetic top, that's a nice touch. I, I think there's a lot that they had to work with. Let's get let's get to the cons. I feel like this machine had some really high potential. I don't understand why they would only give 60 minutes of battery life. I, I don't really understand why Andis seems to cut corners all the time. Uh, the tool price, it's, it's so high compared to some of the others on the list. And for what you get, I just don't feel it's acceptable. The vibration in the hand of this machine is something I just couldn't get used to, and it really made it feel like it lacks quality. That middle cutter that it has, it'll often pull hair out, and a lot of times, if you actually tried to cut like the way you could with the Arc 6 or the Braun, where you could actually go into a number one, it's going to be ripping some of that hair out, and everybody's scalp is red after I use this machine. Oh, that's biting. 
It's hurting? Yeah, it's, it's full in the air. I really think there's a lot that can be improved here. And I'm going to say one thing about Andis. I really feel like I'm, I'm concerned about Andis uh, surviving. I really want to see them start to put together some better products. When I'm looking at all the things Andis does, I'm just not really that impressed. And unfortunately, I don't think barbers are really that excited for things that they release right now. So I'm going to be dropping a full video on Andis and let's move on to the next one on the list. So this one needs no introduction. This is the Babyliss FX3 shaver and it is the champion from last year's 2022 best shaver. Price coming in at $109.99 on Amazon and Fort Worth Barber Supply has this at $99.95. That's coming in at four stars. Battery life, the best one on the list at three hours coming in at four stars. Comfort, we're going to give that four stars. Closeness, I'm giving that five stars. And speed, I'm giving that five stars for a total of 22 points. Now the pros, obviously this was the winner last year and for good reason, it has great battery life. It's a strong running machine. You can feel like you can move as fast as you want with that and it really makes this machine hard to beat. Cons, one of the things I would really like to see Babyliss do and I'm not knocking them, man. I think they're a great company and they're definitely moving the needle in the right direction. I need to see some continuity in charging. They have so many great machines, but all of them have like different chargers and I'm fishing through my drawers and I'm trying to figure out what to plug into what. And you know, that's just one of those things that I would love to see them do come up with something that you can just stick with. So we can use the same charger for everything across the board. It would make our lives easier. Um, some people might see that, you know, the shiny finish is a con. It's not for me. It didn't bother me. Not one bit. However, I am aware that they are releasing a black version pretty soon and I will update you when they do. But this is just an excellent little shaver for anybody looking for one, especially in the professional uh, realm. I often use this for a week at a time without plugging it in. So great machine. And let's move on to the next one on the list. All right. The last one on the list. This one's been making some waves because of its very fair price. This is the Stylecraft Rebel Shaver. And it's priced the lowest on the list at $79.95, giving it five stars, under $100. Battery life, coming in at 100 minutes, gives it only three stars. Comfort, we're giving it four stars. Closeness, I'm giving it five stars. And speed, I'm giving it five stars. That brings it in at a total of 22 points. It's low cost and high performance makes this a great option. And I'm going to say across the board on all hair textures, this thing performs great. It runs fast. And in terms of performance, this is definitely hard to beat. It's small, compact in the hand, and it's matte finish is not shiny or reflective. And I know that some of you guys are going to like that. Uh, the cons, if I could ask for anything out of this machine, I would just love to see the battery life improved. And I would also like to see some different battery life options. So what does it look like in the winner's circle with both of these machines? For the first time ever in 2023, we have a tie, whereas the difference maker is one with the FX3, you're getting three hours of battery life. Uh, the other one is only 100 minutes for the Rebel. Two, the FX3 costs a little bit more and the Rebel is a little bit cheaper. So in terms of performance, they are identical. They're both equally as strong. They're both equally as fast. And if you like the smaller shape, you might like the Rebel more. If the larger shape doesn't bother, you might like the FX3 more. With that being said, either one of these are great options and so is everything else on the list. You guys can check out the affiliate links down below and you guys can get discounts on everything. And I hope that you guys do stick around because soon we're going to be releasing our best trimmer of 2023, our best clipper of 2023. And when we can, these videos are going to pop up in this video. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. D. Barber, and I'm out of here. Peace.